but I actually thought everything went really smoothly. I think for all of us, we've been looking forward to getting back to playing baseball, and today was our first opportunity to do that. Um, you know, I think that the entire Brewers organization deserves a ton of credit for figuring this thing out because it's a massive undertaking to try to, um, you know, put us in the optimal position to stay safe and healthy while also preparing for a season. Um, and I really thought everything went smooth. I felt like they were very uh, prepared. Um, everybody's communicated well with us, so we had an idea of what to expect. Um, but certainly it's, it's a lot different. Uh, it will be very unique, but I think for all of us, we're, we're just embracing the uniqueness of, of what uh, this season will bring. I mean, my focus for now is just on this year, right? It's, it's trying to prepare for this season, um, embrace the uniqueness of what this season will bring. Uh, you know, I think that, that for me personally, playing a smaller number of games is something that's beneficial. I think I've been able to be pretty good the last few Septembers because when I know that it's a, a smaller sample size we're working with, I can just kind of focus on sprinting to the finish line. Um, so I, I think for now, I'm, I'm focused on this year. Obviously, I love everything about this city, this organization, um, and I'm incredibly close with the Atanas. So the goal would certainly be if I play another year um, to play here. But for now, the focus is, is just on trying to get the most out of every day, prepare for this season, um, and again, embrace the uniqueness of what will be uh, a very uh, different baseball season. When it comes to routines, I think we all have routines both at home and on the road, um, and we will have to figure out completely new routines. I think the situation will be very fluid to the extent that a lot of these things will be figured out as we go. Um, and I think, you know, there also needs to be a level of appreciation and gratitude for whoever figured out the entirety of the protocol because it is very extensive. Um, and ultimately, all they're trying to do is put us in the optimal position to stay as safe and healthy as possible. Um, and on top of that, I, I do think it's important to keep perspective on the fact that we are only going to have, I think it's five road trips. Um, you know, in, in, in a typical season, if you're trying to do 81 road games plus whatever number of off days you have on the road, it becomes a lot more challenging. Whereas this year, we will probably spend somewhere around 30 nights on the road. Uh, so it'll be difficult, but it'll be a sacrifice that we will all have to make for the greater good of, of you know, our team, our team success, the game and the, the health of, um, you know, the general public. Um, obviously, it's unlike anything any of us have experienced before. All of uh, the Brewers personnel and our, our clubhouse attendants um, have went above and beyond what any of us could have possibly expected to try to accommodate everybody and everything. Um, you know, there's uh, some guys in the home locker room. There's some guys in the visiting locker room. They've emptied out Tony Migliaccio's uh, office to create additional locker space. Um, they've moved some of the gym equipment out into the hallway. Um, the kitchen is now in the concourse. So we park in the player's lot, walk in through right field that we will now eat all of our meals um, in the concourse up there. So everything is drastically different um, just in an effort to abide by the protocols that are put in place um, and to try to help keep all of us as, as safe as possible. You have to see it for yourself though to, to truly appreciate it. It's drastically different.